Okay, so this is electromagnetic induction video four, and we are going to make some calculations of induced EMF using Faraday's law. Okay, we have five of them here. I'm just going to attempt to do number one um, and hope it doesn't go badly wrong. Okay. A magnet is pushed into a 50-turn coil of cross-sectional area 7 centimeters squared. This takes 0.2 seconds. The average magnetic flux density through the coil is then 0.1 tesla. Calculate the EMF induced in the coil during this process. Okay, so let's solve this one. Um, so this is example one. Uh, okay, we have a magnet. There's its North Pole end. It's going to be pushed or moved into a coil. There's the coil. The coil has 50 turns. It has a cross-sectional area of 7 centimeters squared. Now by that, what we mean is that if that's the coil, like the one we looked at earlier, um, the cross-sectional area is this area. Okay, what else do we know? Um, we know that the time taken to move the magnet in is 0.2 seconds. We know that um, when the magnet is in the coil, the average flux density is 0.1 Tesla. Uh, what we don't know is the EMF that is induced in the coil in this process. Okay, so what we say is that if we push the magnet into the coil, we will see an EMF induced across the coil. In other words, if we attach an ammeter or milliammeter, we'll see a tiny current which is being pushed by the induced EMF. And we explain that by saying that when the magnet moves into the coil, um, the lines of flux from the magnet are cut, or alternatively linked, by the turns of the coil, um, and that when a change in flux linkage occurs, that's when we see an EMF in the coil. Okay, so um, the magnitude of that EMF is predicted by Faraday's law, which is that E is equal to delta M phi by delta T. Okay, so what we want to do here is to use this equation to calculate a value for the EMF E. Okay, so the delta means the change in N phi, and N phi is the flux linkage through the coil. Um, so change means final minus initial. So we need to know the initial flux passing through the coil, and we need to know the final flux. Now, if we call the initial flux phi i, it's zero because when the magnet is well away from the coil, no lines of flux link the coil. The final flux, phi f, is going to be equal to b times a, where b is the flux density in the coil, and a is the area, the cross-sectional area of the coil. Okay, we're told that the average flux density is 0.1 tesla, and that the area cross-sectional is seven centimeters squared. Okay, to calculate that, we need to be a bit careful about the units, because if we want to get uh, flux in Weber's, we need magnetic flux density in teslas, and area in meters squared. That's okay, we got this. 0.1 teslas, centimeter, a centimeter is times 10 to the minus 2 meter. So centimeters squared is times 10 to the minus 2 meters squared. Now that's going to give us 0.1 
times 7 times 10 to the minus 4 meters squared. Okay. And 0 0.1 times 7 times 10 to the minus 4 is 7 times 10 to the minus 5 tesla meters squared and tesla meters squared are Weber's. Okay. Now, that's the flux through the coil. Flux linkage is the total amount of flux that is linked by all the turns in the coil. So to get that, we have to multiply by n, the number of turns on the coil. So that's n times b times a, which is 50 turns on the coil times 7 times 10 to the minus 5 Weber, which is the flux linked by each turn. And that will give us, um, okay, I'm going to go for the calculator at this point. So 50 times 7, 10 to the minus 5 Weber is 3.5 times 10 to the minus 3 Weber. The unit of flux linkage is also Weber because the number of turns is just a number and has no unit. Okay, now, then we can calculate the change in flux linkage, delta N phi, and that will be um, N phi final minus N phi initial. Now, the final flux linkage was 3.5 times 10 to the minus 3 Weber's. The fi initial flux was 0, therefore the initial flux linkage was also 0. So therefore the change in flux linkage is 3.5 times 10 to the minus 3 Weber. Okay, now the EMF is equal to the rate of change of flux linkage. So that is delta N phi over delta T. Delta N phi is 3.5 times 10 to the minus 3 Weber. The time taken is 0.2 seconds. So if we divide our 3.5 times 10 to the minus 3 Weber by 0.2 seconds, then we get a rate of change of flux linkage of 0 0.0175 Webers per second. And believe it or not, 0 0.0175 Webers per second is 0 0.175, 0 0.0175 volts of EMF. So, pushing the magnet into this coil in 0.2 seconds will produce an average EMF in the coil of 0 0.0175 volts EMF in the coil. Okay, at this point I'm going to stop and go and have a well-earned cup of tea. Um, there are th more worked examples here. I'm not going to do them on the video, but you're going to have the examples in the notes. I'm going to write out the solutions nicely and give you those in the notes, but um, what you should do, of course, is to work through example one and to your own satisfaction to make sure that you can get the answer right and then try examples two, three, four, and five. Mentions at the bottom the airplane problem, but let's save that up for a little bit later. Um, before we go, let's just look at our objectives. Uh, where are they?
So four videos ago, we set out to do the following. Um, right, to demonstrate electromagnetic induction by three experiments, which we've done, uh, we've looked at the model using the spaghetti to explain how the EMF arises in terms of flux cutting and flux linking. We stated Faraday's law in words. Um, we have not stated Lenz's law, so we'll have to come back to that. Um, and we have calculated the induced EMF by turning Faraday's law into an actual equation from which we can uh, def derive an equation uh, from which we're able to calculate EMF. Okay, so uh, you need to be able to describe these experiments to explain them, what's going on in terms of uh, changes in flux linkage, to state Faraday's law in words, um, to be able to use the equation to calculate EMF in different situations. Okay, that's what we want to get out of this. Um, okay, so try the remaining uh, worked examples and then after that we'll have an exercise.